So welcome to module three. In module three we're going to be looking at how you go about registering a domain name. Now we've got that domain name and we know that it's available. And also how you go about getting a hosting account. If you've already got a hosting account then that's fine. It's a case of just registering the domain name with that existing hosting account. Um, if not we'll show you how you can go about getting a hosting account and some of the things you need to look out for if you're going to do that. So without further ado, let's crack on and get into it. Okay, so we found ourselves a domain name, bestworkoutvideos.com or best-workout-videos.com. And so the next stage is how we go about registering that domain name with a hosting account. And if you don't have a hosting account, how you go about getting yourself a hosting account. Now, I already have a hosting account. If you've already got a hosting account, then you can skip this initial bit and go to the um, the other video where we just talk about registering that a new domain with your existing hosting account, which you should know already. But if you don't have a hosting account, you'll need a hosting account um, on which to register your domain and then host your basically host your website. Now I use uh, justhost.com. Um, you can select the country here. Obviously, I'm in uh, the UK, but I've selected the United States just so you can see it compared with the other one I'm going to show. And I put a link below for justhost.com. So if you want to choose justhost.com, the thing to look out for um, is two things. Does it have a C panel, uh, which is sort of the admin back page? Um, I know. Just Host does, and it also actually has WordPress install, which is uh, also very useful. And also, does it have unlimited domains? Unlimited domains. So does it does it mean that you can register and host lots and lots and lots of domains without paying for additional hosting fees? On some sites, every time you um, have a new domain name, they only allow one single domain name. So you'd have to buy a new uh, hosting account for your next one and so on and so on. What you want is actually unlimited. Um, if we look at HostGator, which is another popular one, again a link below, and a lot a lot of internet marketers use Host HostGator, um, and they're very good as well, very affordable. Here you'd want the baby plan because it has here unlimited domains. The hatchling plan over here, just a single domain. So what you want is unlimited domain. So you can host lots and lots of domains on one on the one hosting account. And down here you can see it's got the C panel control panel, which is something that you I would recommend you having. So I'm with uh, as I say with just hosting dot uh, com. As I say, if you've already got a hosting account, you can move to the next video. If not, you're going to want a hosting account. And here they're offering the free domain as well within the overall price of uh, $4.45 a month, um, you'll get to register your first domain as well. So I have a general domain, which I use as sort of, um, well, partly sort of experiments and stuff, but it's not my main site for um, blogging, etc. cetera. Um, and then all my other domains uh, are hosted on that account. Things like internetmarketingbootcamp.org is hosted as an add-on domain, and that's what we're looking for. So here, if it's going to be your first site, then just click on sign up now. And then it will ask you for your, um, if you want to please register a new domain, which we're going to do because it comes within the, the initial price. Um, so just put that in there. Remember, in this case, we're using hyphens. So don't forget the hyphens if that's the case. Select .com or .not .org, And you're ready to go. But before you hit continue, quick little tip. What I would do is go up here and refresh the page. The reason uh, I do this is often if you do this, then um, a little pop-up box will come up offering a special offer. And hey, hey presto, there we go, a 20% discount. So stay on the page. And hey, hello Amber. Uh, she's offering me a 20% discount on our unlimited hosting plan. So um, there you go, you know, so it's just a little tip and I've saved you 20%. I mean, it doesn't always work and sometimes it's more, sometimes it's 25%, sometimes it's 20%, you never know. Uh, but it's always worth trying. Anyway, 
Um, I don't wish to proceed with that chat. Um, the next thing, just press continue and it will take you through the process of A, registering the domain in your name and B, setting up the host where you're going to be uh, hosting that actual domain. Um, I won't go through that now because it will, you know, the whatever you use, whether it's just host.com or HostGator, they'll take you through it step by step and they're very uh, user friendly. Um, and that's really it. So um, as I say, if you haven't got a hosting account, click on the links below, either justhost.com or hostgator.com. They're the ones that are um, a couple of the most recommended. I've had wonderful customer service from justhost.com. So, um, and it's worked for me. It's not, you know, other people have great experiences with Hostgator. If you find a good hosting account, you tend to stick with it. And if they're no good, then you, you move on. But I've been very happy with justhost.com. So um, that's all you need to do. So crack on now and, and, and get with that. Um, if you already have a hosting account, then uh, you need to watch the next video and I'll go through about registering that account if you don't know how to do that already, uh, registering that domain with them. So until the next module, uh, I hope that makes all sense. And we're getting into the exciting part now of having a bit of real estate uh, on the big world wide web. So um, until next module, um, I'll see you later. Thank you.